Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dan and we're back. This time we're going to be looking at some older Force Link toys. Force Link 2.0, not the yellow solo packaging. You'll notice there's red writing on here. But this is the old school Force Link, but I'm going to be using the new Force Link to review it. There shouldn't be a difference. Uh, but yeah, these are from The Last Jedi. This is old. This is something that didn't actually hit retail store shelves. You can really see this at Walmart, Target. Maybe Amazon carried them online, maybe, I don't know, but retail stores like, you know, Kmart's whatnot, they didn't show up there. I actually got mine through Entertainment Earth. Um, if I can put a link up, I will. I should probably see about maybe becoming an affiliate with them, right? I'm probably going to be slinging a lot of stuff their way, because there's a lot of stuff here that I got from uh, Entertainment Earth recently, because they've been one of the better spots to get some of these exclusives. Just as a collector, heads up, they're not a sponsor or anything, but that is somewhere that it's just been a good spot. So... This, I don't even know how to say this guy's name, Cy Threnali, Kai, C-I, it's C apostrophe A-I, Threnali, sounds Italian. Let's take a look at the outside of the box, and let's see a little bit more about this guy. All right, as you can see here, it's got the red Last Jedi logo, there's some numbers up there. I do love the artwork, you, look at, you can see the hair on his face even, looking good, looks good inside the package. I like the fact that there's a helmet that is detachable, that's really cool, comes with a little pistol. Otherwise, I think you can probably remove that head, put anybody's head on there, and you have a different resistance pilot. It's pretty cool. Force Link, like Disney Hasbro, Psy, how do you guys say that? C-I? Psy? I think it's Psy. Threnali, there we go. Star Wars, Force Link, do the thing. There's no blurb anymore, which is kind of sad, but looks like zero to three sad babies do approve of this hard-to-find toy. All right, guys, now I did purchase two. You might have seen two here on the table. Um, and I mentioned when I was looking at the helmet and looking at his head, I might just want to get another figure's head and, like, pop it on there, and then I'll have more resistance pilots just to, like, add to the little backdrop and everything. To me, I think that's, like, a cool idea. So I purchased two when I got this. You might even see there's more uh, flame troopers over here. I'm going to do that in a future video because they're the same situation. Couldn't get them at regular stores, but Entertainment Earth had them. So I jumped on it and I got two. Now, as I'm ripping this package to shreds, I got to mention... Amazon links, even though I don't know that these are on there. I still post Amazon links on my vids to my Amazon store of stuff that I personally like. Star Wars toys, Lost Jurassic World toys, all that good stuff. So if you guys do any Amazon shopping and you use my links, you don't have to buy a toy. You can buy whatever you would normally buy. But if you start on my links, I get a little bit of a credit for it. Small commission, a couple pennies for every dollar you spend. And that's what goes to fuel the channel and make more videos like this. So if you use that stuff, it's always appreciated. Again, there's always Spreadshirt. Patreon, if there's any of you patrons, thank you so much. A dollar goes so far, you wouldn't believe. I mean, this is a $7 toy, so there's seven of you join Patreon at a dollar each a month. There's a new video guaranteed every time. So it works like that. It adds up, and it's always appreciated. Uh, what do we got here? Force Link instructions. We already know how to use Force Link. I do. If you don't know, you'll see it in just a little bit. <sighs> Goodbye. All right, let's take a look at this figure. So far, I guess I like it. I think I think he looks good. I think there's there's a lot to like about this figure already. Uh, it does have me wondering where is my Poe figure? I just moved and just set everything back up, and now I'm thinking about it. I'm like I don't I don't see Poe in his uh, resistance thing. There must be like a tote somewhere in my garage with the X-wing. I think Poe's inside there. Either way, we don't need to compare him to Poe because he's not Poe. But yeah, solid figure. Solid figure. Let's take a look at some close-ups. All right, take a look at that sculpt. Looks good. I like all the little wrinkles and everything in the arms. That's, like, not easy to sculpt like that. That is some really cool detail. Now, it is a 5 POA figure. Notice these little things move. That's kind of a neat feature. They just kind of dangle the way they would. Um, he's got this little pipe thing that goes from the, I don't know the technical terms here, but like a breathing pipe maybe from when he's a pilot going down to his leg. That looks very accurate. This is all really, really good looking. Now, notice I did say the helmet does come off, and it comes off very easily, so that head sculpt looks really good. I like what I see there. It does move. Again, 5 POA. I don't think the wrists rotate. No, wrists don't rotate. It does come with a little pistol. Sits right in his hand. Oh, that wrist rotates. Just the other one does not. So there's definitely... Oh, no, just kidding. They both rotate. 7 POA. It was just very stuck. Any ankle rotation? That's a good question. Yeah, 9 POA. I like where this is going. He kind of stands funny if you do that to him, but <laughs> no. Does that count? Does that count since I knocked him over? I think it counts. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at him in the little background over here. 
and then we'll see how he looks. All right, now for a Star Wars figure, I think he looks really, really good in that backdrop right there. Let's take a look. He looks perfect. He fits in. He looks good. Now let's just give him a good listen on that old Force Link. All right, guys, I've got my Force Link 2.0 here. We'll use it on this 1.0 figure. Again, it should be the same sounds. Roger, cover me. I'm going in. Cover me. I'm going in. Okay. We have a mission to complete. All right. Cover me. I'm going in. Another repeat. We have a mission to complete. Another repeat. Cover me. I'm going in. Okay, sounds like it's the two over we and over. We have a mission to complete. Yeah, it's going back and forth between the two. Let's get some blaster sounds going. Okay. Very standard Star Wars blaster sound. Come and get me! Nice. We have a mission to complete. Let's get more blaster sounds. Come and sounds. get me! Got him! Got him. Come and get me! Got him! Come and get me! Okay. Got him! I think, I think we've heard what we need to hear. Guys, this is a cool figure. I, I like him. I mean, he's basic. He's just a basic pilot, but he was... I think he had some more dialogue, as we could tell. I feel like there was a few more lines, maybe, in The Last Jedi that he might have said, if I remember correctly, when he was talking to Poe. Um, but it's just a neat figure to have and to kind of add to that world. So I would recommend it if you can get a hold of it. I'll try and post the link to where I bought it from. Again, it was Entertainment Earth. Uh, not an affiliate link. I get no credit for it, but whatever. I just want you guys to be able to get your hands on this because this is a cool figure and if you collect Star Wars 3.75s, this is the way to go. So I want to know your thoughts. Is this a thumbs up worthy? Is it thumbs down worthy? Leave it down below, your comments, why, whatever, but be sure to rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you think is appropriate. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, use the force on that little notification bell, that way you guys get notified every time I put out a brand new video. There's lots more Star Wars coming. See a little bit of vintage collection, I know some of you wanted to see that, so let's Coming up, we got some cool pieces here. I'm gonna, let me, there it is, you guys can see it. Lightsaber crystals, what? Yeah, that's happening. We're doing that. So we're gonna grow some lightsaber crystals coming up soon, which is why you don't wanna miss anything. Now, those of you who have the notifications turned on, you guys show up to the videos, you're pretty much positive parts of the community helping me out, pointing out when I say things wrong. Actually, I appreciate that, it's kinda nice, cause then I know going forward. Uh, but you guys are my sad baby squad. You know, like those zero to three sad babies that appear in the bottom of most toys. I call you guys a sad baby squad. You're the notification ones. You know, you guys, the good ones. I want to feature you in the vids. So if you're on Twitter or Instagram, use hashtag sad baby squad or at me at Dano Flores. You can see a little text there in the corner. That, use those things. Get a hold of me. I want to put clips or pictures of your collection. If you guys got some cool lightsaber skills, whatever, a little stop motion, whatever you want to do. If you're something, got something creative you can do, like I said, photos or video, send it to me. Use those hashtags at me and I want to put you in the vids. Guys, that's it for this video. Until next time, may the Force have with you, and goodbye forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, subscribe, join the Sad Baby Squad, hit me up with your own clips, videos, whatever you guys are into, fan artwork. I also have shirts and stuff available for sale. Hit those little links down below if you're at all interested. And that's it. Go watch another vid.